Hello everyone, welcome to the All Day Football Show. I'm your host as always, Jackson Kellogg, and today we've got you NFL Week 8 analysis going over top 10 teams, game picks, and for those Patriots fans out there like myself, going over the points for beating the Chargers coming up this Sunday. Getting right into it, these were the power rankings from last week. We had a little bit of movement, the Chargers got beat down by the Ravens, so they dropped down a little bit. And a couple teams move up. And then the Titans beat Buffalo uh, in a close game. So the Titans got to move up into the top 10. This week, not a whole lot of movement. But still some changes. The Ravens got beat badly by the Bengals this past week. Putting the Bengals at a 5-2 record. Which thrusts them up into the top 10. This is the one team I never thought I would say would be in the top 10 this season. But here they are. Good for them. Uh, They come after beating the Ravens, who dropped two spots, allowing Green Bay and Dallas to move up one spot each, keeping the Ravens ahead of the Chargers because that is the team they beat. The Titans beat the the Chiefs in a beatdown. That's why they get to stay in the top 10 and why the Chiefs move down. Everything else, pretty normal. No major upsets. All All wins or buys from these teams from last week. Getting into the game picks last week went nine and four. We're starting to get we're starting to get better with the picks here. Uh, puts the overall record at sixty four and forty one. Starting to get some separation in our wins and losses here. So, but for this week, I've got the Cardinals winning tonight at home against the Green Bay Packers. Devontae Adams is out. Alan Lazard is out. MVS is out. A bunch of the defenders are still out for the Packers. Bakhtiari is still out. Packers are down so many players, and the Cardinals are playing very good football. Still undefeated, the last undefeated team left. And I think it's going to continue tonight. Getting into the Sunday games, we'll start with the NFC. We always start with the AFC. We'll flip for this week. We've got the Niners winning on the road against the Bears. The Bears just look like hot garbage right now. Don't see them winning a game for a while. We've got the Falcons beating the Panthers at home. The Panthers are, they started out hot on the season, and now they're starting to crash and burn. We've got the Lions taking their first win on the season against a dumpster fire in Philadelphia. And then I've got the Buccaneers and Cowboys winning against winning on the road against the Saints and Vikings. Moving to the interconference matchups, we've got the Rams beating the Texans on the road. Seattle getting their first win with Geno Smith at home against Jacksonville. We've got Washington winning on the road against Denver. Denver, another one of those teams, started 3-0. All against bad teams, and now they're starting to show their true colors. And I've got the Chiefs bouncing back on Monday Night Football against the New York Giants. Moving into the AFC matchups, I've got the Bills winning at home against the Dolphins and the Browns winning at home against the Steelers. Dolphins should be winless right now if it wasn't for a Damian Harris fumble in Week 1. And the Steelers' offense just is not good with Ben Roethlisberger there, and the defense is starting to crash and burn as well though the browns are dealing with injuries they've shown that they can overcome that then we've got the titans winning on the road against the colts Bengals winning on the road against the jets and i have an upset here of the patriots beating the chargers on the road at 4 30 on sunday so let's get into that so last week patriots absolutely curb stomp the new york jets 54 to 13 and even some of those last couple touchdowns came with the backup offense going in a lot of the starters went and sat jj taylor got two touchdowns damien harris got two touchdowns brandon bolden got a touchdown we saw wide receiver thrown touchdown kendrick Bourne throwing a touchdown and nelson Aguilar. it was just a beautiful game for the offense and the defense though going against a very weak opponent on offense both sides of the ball showed out leading to the most points scored by a team this season, I think. I don't think any other team has gotten to over 50 points this year. So the keys to beating the Chargers on Sunday are very simple. Very, very simple. Control the clock. As they have a high-powered offense, they've got Austin Eckler, who can beat you running the ball and coming out of the backfield to catch. You've got Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, who are two very good receivers. They make a very good dual threat. You've got Mike Williams beating you down the field, Keenan Allen being one of the best aggressive, possessive catchers in the league. So 
controlling the clock, keeping those guys off the field is going to be key. Stop the run. Like I said, Austin Eckler, dual threat. If you stop the run, then you're going to force them to throw the ball. Make that happen. It, the Patriots' weaknesses teams say, oh, they're not stopping the run, so we don't have to do anything else except run the ball and run the clock. Make sure you're the team that's running the ball and running the clock, not the others. So stopping Austin and Eckler in the backfield, forcing them to pass the ball and create turnovers and chances in that realm. And then flipping over to the offensive side, again, very simple, protect Mac Jones. The offense is finally starting to come together. The run game looks great, and the receivers are finally starting to get there. They've shown over the last couple weeks that separation is no longer the problem. The big problem right now is holding on to the damn football. So hold on to the football, protect Mac Jones, keep giving him time in the pocket. Mac Jones has been one of the most pressured quarterbacks all year, has had one of the least times to throw all year and is still performing very well so get better at protecting mac and this team will go a very long way i predict a 24 to 18 victory for the chart for the patriots on sunday i think they're going to come up with the upset against the chargers they beat them last year 45 nothing with what should have been two punt return touchdowns it was just an onslaught of special teams issues for the Chargers that led to very, very many points for the Patriots. And that'd be hilarious if that's how this game happened too. But Justin Herbert, very good quarterback. The Chargers defense has some talent on it. Got Asante Samuel being the best rookie corner at the moment. Just lots of talent on both sides of the ball there. They're mo definitely going to be a playoff team. And the Patriots need to show that if they want to make the playoffs, they too have to beat those playoff teams and winning record teams. Haven't done that so far this season. So that's how you got to make the playoffs. If you can't beat a team with a winning record, you don't belong to be there. So this is their chance to finally get a win against a team with a winning record and get back to 500 for them. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Hope you all enjoy watching the games on Sunday, and I'll see you in the next video. Go Pats!